There's a lot of things Linky Blocks doesn't want you to know about him. Today I'm going to cover Linky Box 5 Darkest Secrets No One Knows. Welcome back to Blocks Flow, let's get into the video. Number 5, their first meetup. The entire Linky Box popularity is based on how well Adam and Justin get together with each other, but since they are not related by blood or any other relationship if that matters, the biggest question about the two of them is where did they meet? The answer to the big question has been long told by them, but surprisingly not many are aware of it as of yet. It still exists as a secret and it's about time we unveil the story. Adam and Justin met each other at an international film festival in 2015 where the two of them got acquainted with each other due to their admiration of each other's work. They were fans of what each of them had been creating over the years and it was filmmaking that provided them with a common ground to be friends. And of course, that friendship got translated into a lifelong work arrangement that has been working pretty well for them. Number 4, The Zero Budget Guys Coming down to number 4, here we'll be talking about the reasons why they are called the Zero Budget Guys and everything surrounding that nickname of theirs. It seems a rather unusual nickname for someone to come up at random, but the thing is, it isn't as entirely random as you would think. Before getting into any discussions, I must acknowledge the fact that Adam and Justin are called the Zero Budget Guys is no secret. Literally, anyone that follows them or has watched their videos would know about this name. So yes, that is not the dark secret you guys must be wondering about. The reason why the two of them are called the Zero Budget Guys is that they make zero budget parodies of songs and movies, or generally speaking, any video clip in that sense. If something parody potential is out, these two won't waste time in making fun of it. And the reason they take pride in zero budget is that they actually don't spend a single penny on those parodies. But the dark secret about all this is that despite their long-standing relationship, Adam is not always fond of what Justin does. Justin apparently sells him off as a chick, funny, and cool kind of guy, but I would just laugh off matters and take things very lightly. Adam, on the other hand, tries to look like the mature one, but it is said that Adam verbally expresses his concerns over Justin's behavior. The greater problem with this fact is that his misunderstanding or mishap might cause a great deal of trouble for the two of them to operate. And if a lack of communication persists, there's a high chance that they might even end their partnership of working together for the channel on YouTube. Bruce, please. I understand. Number 3, Justin in the Cinema. There is one particular dark secret people don't know much about Justin and his childhood, though this does not involve Adam in the situation. It still appears to be a very important thing to discuss. And don't worry, Adam will have his fair share of dark secrets. It was revealed by Justin that when he was a kid back in middle school, he snuck into an R-rated movie with a friend. They kept on watching the movie until they started checking the tickets, and it was then when he was forced to flee from the cinema. My mind was literally blown, but they were like, okay, here's a Nintendo GameCube, here's like Super Smash Brothers, here's some Mario games, but! Uh-huh. Number two, Adam and his girlfriend. Since number three was about Justin, it was fair that number two would be about Adam. Now again, since this fact is from Adam's childhood, it definitely is not going to have Justin involved in it. So with keeping that in mind, here we have Adam's dark secret. Adam, just like everyone else, started dating someone while he was growing up. But the weird part about his choice was that he started dating his best friend's sister. How creepy is that? There is a bro code you never violate, but Adam did violate that and got together with his best friend's sister. He hasn't been very careful with his love life choices in general, as he was even caught cheating with his crush while he was in middle school. So that sums up Adam's love life, but he has been very quiet about his personal information these days. No wonder how long his present privacy would last. You personally would want to swipe on. Yes! So not, hey, no. Number 1, their net worth. Coming up at number 1 is the net worth of this duo. Now obviously, since we have not seen their tax returns, we cannot be entirely sure if the rumors are found by us are completely true, but it would at least give you an idea of how richy rich these two have become. It was estimated by Social Blade that Justin earns $500,000 within a year from YouTube alone. Taking the average of that figure was roughly have around $260,000, then add up all the amount he gets from advertisements, social media platforms like Instagram and the merch he sells. Justin personally ends up making well above $500,000 a year. Since Adam and Justin basically do the same job, Adam's estimates wouldn't be far off either. It was time we started looking more closely into what these guys have been doing with their lives. Their secrecy seems very mysterious to me. I said, wait, you really, wow, you really took that big of a risk? Yeah. No way. Yeah. No way. So I said, hey, Rachel, I'll be honest. I think you're really cute and I like you. There's no way. I literally There's said no that. Way. I literally no way. said that. And you just. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.